In this video, we're going to talk about bins, but not rubbish bins, Tableau bins. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's head over to Tableau. Okay, we're now here in Tableau and we're just going to use the Superstore data set for this example. So let's wait for that bad boy to load. All right, and I'm going to do just a new sheet and we're going to connect to this uh, sample Superstore. All right, let's begin. So uh, I'm not going to try and explain it from the get-go, instead I'm gonna show you a something that happens in the real world, right, in business. So let's say I've got, I'm a company and I sell all these products, right? I've got all these products and um, I wanna see all the sales values for every single one of these, okay? And let's add a label, right? And then I'm gonna sort this highest to lowest, right? Uh, due to the sheer number of products I have, it's kinda of hard to see it in one compressed small view, right? It's, it, like, I mean, I can say, okay, there's probably a few of them that are pretty high. There's a few more that are a bit lower, but it's kind of hard to see an overall picture. So we can use something called bins. And bins is a great way to compress a data group and give you a bit more overall insight into your data set. And it's, again, very useful for fields where you have a lot of individual items, okay? So how does it work? Well, a bin is really just a group, right? And we're gonna group it by a measure, right? Some sort of value. So let's say my first bin is going to, and it's probably better if I start from the bottom, okay? So my first bin, I'm, I'm gonna say every bin is $100, right? So the first bin is zero to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 300, and so on. And then I'm gonna count how many of these items fall into those categories, right? All right, so let's go ahead and build it. So if I go to the measure I'm gonna create a bin on, so I'm gonna go sales, right click, create, and we're gonna go bins, All right? I'm gonna set this to 100 as we discuss, and we're gonna go okay, like so. All right, and then I'm gonna create a new sheet because I don't wanna screw this up. So let's bring the sales bin in here and you can see the symbols a lot different and now here are all our individual buckets now we want to count how many products fall into each of those buckets so i'm going to go into product name and i'm going to go product i'm going to go count okay now this gives us a, a significantly different viewpoint right this tells me if i add the labels in there are 5141 products right that have sales between zero to 100 and you can see it fits in a very small space and it tells me that okay if i'm thinking percentages let's say i'm going to do percent of total okay and i'm going to put that on this one so let's get rid of that and i want to move this to here okay so this tells me that all right if i add this up what's that as a percentage uh, it doesn't count so 45 18, so it's up to 65, 75, 80. So I'm gonna say that 80% of my products, right, are between zero to 400, right? Because that's 300 to $400, okay? You, you can't do that from that other view just because it's just so damn big, right? So by doing it in this way, you get a much better view. And this is actually called a histogram. And I was taught once that it should actually be touching. I think it should be like that. It's, I think it's a statistics thing. Um, I'll listen to the guy because he, he knew what he was talking about, right? So that's one kind of variation. We can also change the size of these bins. So we simply look for that bin again. We go edit, all right? We can change the size. So we go 200, let's say, okay? And you can see the bins have changed size now. Depends on your data set. One of the things I like to do is actually introduce a parameter as the control. So if I go into the triangle and go create parameter, Let's call this bin control. Um, yeah, it'll just be a floating number. Let's say we want it in every 100 increments, let's just say. So I'm gonna go range, All right, minimum value is 100. We don't want it to get too big. So let's just say 1000 right, or maybe even 2000, right? In increments of 100 and we go okay. And then what we do is we go back to the bin, edit, and instead of this number, we can actually use this drop down and select that bin control. And we'll go OK. So now if I show this bin control right over here, I can actually control the granularity of my bins, of my histogram. All right. And that's how you use bins. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. And new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Until then, bye.